One of the things you hear me say all the time as it relates to building muscle is that to optimally do so, you need to recruit and fatigue as many muscle fibers as possible throughout a muscle's entirety without overworking your body's capacity to recover. But when we talk about recruitment, things can get pretty complex based on the fact that every muscle itself is made up of a, you know, a few hundred thousand muscle fibers. And these fibers are comprised of anywhere between a few to several hundred motor units. So, you know, when, when you take those things into consideration, you can understand and respect the exactness to which the nervous system adapts to training. And, uh, you know, obviously if you want to build maximum amount of muscle, there's gotta be very exactness through your training so that you fully recruit a muscle throughout its entirety because it's not just gonna happen from doing one thing. Although some movements will provide more bang for your buck, uh, you know, 80, 20, 20% 20 of the movements will provide 80% of the results. You're still gonna need to do some other things if you wanna optimally stimulate growth. Now, when we talk about recruitment strategies, there's a lot of different things you can do, uh, a lot of which people already know. But one of the things that most people are not aware of is that when you train in an oxygen debt, when you create some sort of oxygen debt, when you're gasping for air because you're working hard, you will reap the benefits of the enhanced neural drive that accompanies that. Meaning that, if I say it another way, your level of recruitment or your capacity to recruit is elevated when you perform your sets before you're ready. Now, not you know immediately after completion of the last set in which you can't even do another rep, but before you've caught your breath. A lot of people always wait in between their sets until they're ready to go again because they want to lift the most amount of weight the most amount of times. Now, logically, this makes sense, and it does adhere to the load times time under tension equation principle that I've talked about but there are other strategies that you can employ to maximize your return on investment of time and effort and that being training in an oxygen debt and that's only going to happen by not wasting so much fucking time in between your sets sitting around doing absolutely jack shit you're there to work get to work do the work by doing so number one you return uh, you maximize the return on your investment of time and effort and number two you save time for all the other things that you want to do in your life a lot of people waste so much time in the gym in between their sets, uh, during their workouts, uh, not being nearly as productive as they can. And, you know, you, not only are you not being productive, but you're leaving results behind, results that you could be getting if you were to work a little bit harder. So that's something I wanted to share with people that you can implement into your workouts immediately and uh, reap the benefits of it. Now, I'll explain why. Uh, the body operates that way real quick in case anybody's wondering you know you're saying training an oxygen debt and enhanced neural drive why does that happen the reason is is because when you're in an oxygen debt your body is perceiving the situation to be stressful obviously now we come equipped with a stress response a fight-or-flight response you've obviously heard of this most people have and the purpose of this response is to help us overcome stressful situations oddly enough given the name makes sense and what this response consists of is a rather large adrenaline dump. Adrenaline will provide us with the energy needed to uh, overcome the stressful situation. Our pupils will dilate so that we can see more of the world around us and perceive more so that we are as prepared as possible to make the best decisions possible for survival. Uh, it's a survival response. And uh, part of that response is also enhanced neural drive. So if you like this information, feel free to share it. Do for others as I've done for you and I'll continue to do for you. Pass the information forward. Click the fucking button at the bottom. Subscribe to the channel and I'll keep bringing it. By the end of this, I will have taught you more than 99% of the people that you'll ever meet and put you light years ahead of them as well uh, and, and teach you more than any certification course you're going to find out there. Uh, most of these websites, articles, you know, there are some good, valuable pieces of information, but they're few and far between. You follow me, I'll teach you more than you ever knew.